You guys, thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for today? And hopefully you guys, the answer is yes. I'm going to try not to keep you long. Fingers crossed. But y'all know if it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. I hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend. I did. I spent it with my twin sister. We celebrated our birthday and it was awesome, 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 awesome. We're so grateful. We're so blessed. But y'all let me get into this golden nugget. The golden nugget today is... It is easier to believe when you know. It is easier to believe when you know. I'm not talking about the N-O. I'm talking about the K-N-O-W, you guys. It is easier to believe when you know. And what does believe mean? Let's just get into it. What does believe mean? Believe means that you have accepted something to be true. It also means to think or suppose. I think it's going to happen. I suppose it's going to happen, right? And it also means to hold as an opinion. Now, if you're holding something as an opinion, that obviously means that you're not holding it as a fact. Yes, exactly. Now let's look into knowing. What does know mean? K-N-O-W. It means to be certain. To be certain. What does certain mean? Established beyond doubt. Established beyond doubt. So what am I saying? Yes, you can believe, but you need some fuel under your belief, right? Whatever you believe in, you need something to go with that. You can't just believe. It just doesn't work like that. You can't just believe. You have to no, because remember what do we say that um, believe means that you have accepted something to be true, that you think it's going to happen, or I suppose it's going to happen, or what? To hold as an opinion. If you're holding something as an opinion, I already said opinion is not a what? Fact, right? So the, to fuel your belief in what you're believing in, you need to know. We already said knowing. To know means to be certain. And what does certain mean? Y'all already know. I already said it. Means that you have been, it is established beyond doubt. Now, when you think of doubt, hmm, established beyond doubt, that makes you think of another key word. Y'all know it. Come on, say it. It's louder, louder. Yes, faith. What is faith? Faith is having complete trust, having complete confidence. So, knowing and faith are one and in itself. Y'all got that? Because if you have complete trust and complete confidence, then that is what established beyond doubt. Yes? Yes. Beyond doubt. And that's to be what? Certain. And being certain means you know. So that is what you need to pair with you believing. And I'll tell you something. When you know when you know it's going to be, when you know, when you're certain, when you establish beyond doubt, complete trust, complete confidence, you put in the work, right? You put in the work. Just, let's just say if you want to have um, um, a dinner party, right? Or, or you say you want to um, have a car. I always use a car because everybody can normally relate to that. You say you want a car, right? Well, you don't have a driver's license. You don't have a driver's license, right? So you're saying you want a car. Well, when you know you're going to get a car, when you have that established beyond doubt, complete trust, complete confidence, and you're certain that you're going to get a car, and you, know, and you already know you don't have a driver's license, what are you going to do when you know? Now, you believe in that you're going to get a car. I think I'm going to get a car. I suppose I'm going to get a car, right? You already... Uh, holding that opinion, not the fact you're already holding that opinion, but now you're pairing the belief with the knowing. You're certain, right? Established beyond doubt, complete faith, complete trust. Now you're going to do what? Put in some work, put in some action to go ahead and get your driver's license, 
so you can be prepared. So when it comes, because you know it's coming, you'll be ready for it. And that's how you know the difference. That's how you're, that is how you know that your, your believing is actually in motion. That's how you know that your believing is actually manifesting. It is actually being put into work. You already know that it's going to work when you know. Now, if you don't know, if you're not certain, if you, if it's not established beyond doubt, if you don't have complete trust, you don't have complete confidence, then you're not going to be put into work. I'm just being honest with you. You're not going to be in motion when I say putting in the work. You're not going to be putting in the work. Because when you're putting in the work, that means you know. You're like, oh, I think it was Steve Harvey that um, mentioned that he kept he had an old car. This is when he was younger. I think he was either still living with his with his mother. And um, he had an old car that was sitting out in the driveway. And it was up on blocks. And it wasn't running anymore. And Steve Harvey really wanted wanted. A car he really wanted another car right and um he kept saying i'm gonna get a car i'm gonna get another car i'm gonna get another car i want a car and he kept saying that to his mom and kept saying mom i'm gonna get a car and y'all his mom told him well you're not gonna get another car until you move that one out there because see if c harvey knew he was about to get another car do you think that old car would have still been out there in the driveway no he would have made room for it and so when his mom told him that about, um, you know, the old car being there, Steve Harvey mentioned that as soon as he moved that old car that was sitting on blocks, putting in the work, when he moved that, that was him knowing that he was going to put, that another car was going to be sitting where that old car was. And that's how you know, you guys, you have to be certain, established beyond doubt, complete trust, complete confidence and that paired with believing that paired with that opinion you're holding that paired with i think it's going to happen i suppose it's going to happen that paired with that believing works every single time so if you've been believing in something to come to pass for you and it hasn't it's because you just don't know you don't know you don't really know that it's going to happen you haven't got to that established beyond doubt. And how do you know, how do you know that you, it, it, it is established beyond doubt? That means you're not worried. You're not complaining. Even though when I talk about don't let these physical eyes block your vision, when you are allowing your eyes to get you worried, that's how you don't know. You don't know. But when you know... When you know it's happening, when you know it's going to happen, when you know you're certain, established beyond doubt, complete trust, complete confidence, that means you, you are working. You, you getting prepared. You're working. You're working. You're working. Just like a mother, just like a woman who's pregnant. She's pregnant. She believes she has a baby in there. She believes she has a baby in there. But she, all she knows she's going to deliver. So what does she start doing? She knows without a shadow of a doubt. Certain, established beyond beyond um, doubt, complete trust, complete faith. And she starts to prepare. She gets that baby crib together, her and her husband. They start buying baby clothes. Why? Because they know this baby's coming. They know it. Now, if they didn't know they were going to actually deliver this baby, then do you think they will be getting cribs, buying baby clothes, and, and prepping and doing all this stuff, taking Lamar's class? <laughs> If they didn't know that they were going to be, be delivering, delivering a child, that's the only way they're putting in the work because they know. So if you're not putting in some work towards what you're believing in, believing what's going to happen, that means you don't know. So you got to start putting in the work, which means you got to know. You have to be certain that what you're believing for is really, is really going to happen. So you all you got to know, you can't just believe. So that's the difference between believing and knowing. You can't have just believing. You can't just believe. You got to know. Y'all got it? I hope y'all got it. I hope I didn't keep y'all too long. It's right at nine minutes or so. But that is the gist of it, you guys. It's okay to believe, but to pair with that believing, you have got to know. Because when you know, you start to prepare you start putting in the work. You start putting in the action because you're ready for it. 
right? So y'all get started. Y'all get into the knowing, established beyond doubt, to be certain, knowing to be certain. What does certain mean? Established beyond doubt. And doubt, you're looking at faith. If it's established beyond doubt, that means there's faith. There's some faith in there. And what is faith? Faith is complete trust, complete confidence. And when you know, you will start preparing and say, oh, I got to get this because we're going to be doing this. Oh, I got to go. Oh, I need to go ahead and start buying this. Oh, I need to go ahead and start doing this because, because this is happening. This is happening. You're actually in working mode, in action mode, because why? You know it's happening. You know it's going to come to pass. And that's just paired what you believe in with that holding on to the opinion. You can't just hold on to the opinion and not know. Because if you don't know, that's all you will be doing. Holding on to an opinion. Or I think it's going to happen. Or I suppose it's going to happen. So y'all, pair your believing with knowing. Y'all got it? Maybe I should name it that. But I did say it's called, it's easier to believe when you know. Y'all just make sure you know. Okay? Got it. And how, Oh, and remember... If you're not putting in some work towards what you're believing in, that means you don't know. So if you ain't working, if your hands ain't working in it, you don't know. I ain't say your hands going to get all of it done. Just saying that you know that it's going to happen, so you're preparing, right? If you want a new house, if you hadn't already went out and got at least one box and started putting some stuff in it, you don't know. You don't know you're moving. If you want a new car and you hadn't started looking at different things that you can hang up in, inside your car, air fresheners or whatever, you don't know. So y'all get to know, be certain, establish beyond doubt. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go because I'm going to keep repeating myself. I feel sometimes when I repeat myself, I feel that y'all want to keep hearing and keep hearing so I can just get deep, 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 way down deep, okay? So if you're believing, get to knowing. And when you know, you're going to put in some work to go with it. You got it? Okay, I think y'all got it. I got it. Okay, I'm going to go. It's 11 minutes at it. I try to keep y'all long with y'all, but I felt like I needed to keep repeating it. I think y'all understand that there is a difference between, between believing and knowing. Y'all got it? So add knowing to your belief system and put in the work, and you'll see things um, coming to pass for you, okay? Y'all got it? Not going to keep you long. Thanks again so much for clicking on my channel, y'all. My amen corner just came in and said, yes, 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 yes. Do just that in that belief system. Add the know and be certain, establish beyond doubt, and putting in the word. I don't even have to say putting in the word with this because if you know, you're going to already start getting things and start doing things in preparation to receive when you know. And when you're in preparation to receive, when you know, that means you've, you have fueled your belief system to where now it is not holding on to a, an, an opinion. That belief system of knowing has gone into a fact you know without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, y'all got it. I think y'all got it now. Now I'm at 12 minutes. Y'all take care. Thanks again for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. And if you take just a little bit, just a little bit of what I have told you and apply it to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. Thanks so much for tuning in with me. Talk to you guys soon and ciao. I smile, you smile, I smile, we smile, I smile, you smile, I smile, we smile, I smile, you smile, I smile, we smile, I smile, you smile, I smile. Smile, all over here, all smiles all